Okay, we're back. Got all my paints ready to go. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to paint this up. So, you know, like the greens, some whites, grays and green. You know, we're going to try and blend it all, make it look as realistic as possible. I mean, I'm not going to be able to build it. A map of the world but I'm gonna try to make things just look a little bit more like they should so let's go ahead and jump right on that shall we Okay, the, um, the uh, wash is dried up, so we're going to go ahead and dry brush. Dry brush the white, the tan, the greens, bring everything back. Once that's done, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the airbrush back out and fill it with some white. And I'm going to paint the, uh, the North Pole with more white and kind of blend in the islands and everything and then I'm gonna paint a couple clouds across the surface and we will call that done so just hold tight and we'll get right to work so here we go So, we have the War of the Worlds all painted up, nice yellow. We have all the dry brushing done. Next, I'm going to use uh, Citadel's Shade, uh, Cassand Cassandora? Cassandora Yellow. And I want to just do a little light wash over the top of the yellow. So, just nice and easy I just think that's going to bring the color out just a bit more smooth everything out nice and just give it a little bit of depth which is what we're looking for here I'm going to go ahead and drag the color down so that if it's going to kind of pool up, it's going to be at the base of the 
the letter. I'm still trying to get, you know, nearly everything off. And you see, you can already see how it's kind of starting to pop a little bit more, just with this wash. Ooh, really liking how this turn, this base is turning out, working out very nicely, I think. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Very nice. I'm very happy with that. That is that is exactly what I wanted. So, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to take our white paint and a brush. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the Arctic in. Just kind of whiten all this area up. Kind of smooth in these. I don't remember what these islands are, but the, the Alaska freezing wilderness. And then I might throw a couple little fluffy clouds across the area and see what we can do. So, helps my tighten my airbrush back up. Pop my protectors off. Shake up my white. Now, this is model air, so it's already thin. But I always add just a tiny bit of thinner to my paints just to smooth them out. Usually one or two drops is enough. And to be honest, I don't even know if I need it anymore with some of these paints. It's just such a habit for me that I, I can't stop doing it. All right, airbrush coming on. Back in a minute. There we go. That is what I was aiming for. So there is the base for the War of the Worlds, Martian War Machine, all finished up. I think it looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with it, to be totally honest. So now, the only thing left to do is, uh, I got a little bit of cleanup here. I had some water splatter, so I need to fix that. But um, once that's done, I'm gonna take it and coat it all over with uh, clear coat lacquer. And then uh, the next part will be uh, wiring and assembly of the, uh, of the war machine itself. So uh, until next time, as always, keep on modeling and uh, you have a great day, all right? I'll see you real soon. Thanks for joining me. Oh, and uh, Feel free to like and subscribe, you know, if you like what I'm doing, feel free to go ahead and click on that little bell icon and make sure you're, you get to see all the silliness that comes into working on my little shop. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks.